What's up, brewheads? Welcome to another Brew 30, where I review a beer and pair it with a toy. Following our trend from our previous Brew 30, we're going to be pairing tonight's beer with a monster mask. But before we get started, let's talk about the beer we're reviewing tonight. And that is Mission to Mars Fruited Sour from Terre Haute Brewing Company. <clears throat> You've seen me review two of the previous Fruited Sours from Terre Haute Brewing Company, and I enjoyed both of them immensely, so I can't wait to try this one. It's a cherry and raspberry fruited sour ale, Mission to Mars. Let's talk about what we're pairing with tonight, and that is none other than the Super Beast Mask from Rock Bottom Novelties. This is another offering from the awesome Rock Bottom Novelties. The mask is uh, designed by Skinner and sculpted by Aaron Lewis and made in Zagone Studios up in Chicago. And it is a super dope mask. Um, it is the second mask we bought from Rock Bottom Novelties. And this is absolutely one of our favorite masks. You can see the detailing of it. It is super cool. We love to wear this. Uh, we also have a set of gloves that go with this so you can complete the look. Uh, like I said earlier in the previous previews, it's Halloween, it's spooky season, so we're gonna keep going through our cool uh, collection of uh, rock bottom novelties masks, and I thought this would pair great tonight with this mission to Mars. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. Now, like I always say, there's no right way or wrong way to pour a beer. You pour your beer the way you want. I'll pour my beer the way I want and we'll still be friends. Guys, I have been introducing all of my friends to these fruited sours from Terre Haute Brewing Company, like the CIA introduced crack cocaine to the African American community in the 1980s, uh, which is what they did because they're scumbags. Everybody knows the CIA is scumbags and they ruined all the communities in this country, but we're not here to talk about uh, how big of a piece of shit our government is. We're here to talk about this awesome beer. And like I said, it's a fruited sour. This is the third offering, a cherry and raspberry. It comes in at a whopping 4.5% alcohol by volume made by the guys at Terra Haute Brewing Company. And if it's anything like the, the previous two uh, ones we reviewed, it should be outstanding. Let's give it a try. So you can definitely smell, I think the raspberry comes through like super strong on this beer. Uh, if you guys are fans of raspberries, I love raspberries, low, glyce low glycemic berries, high in fiber, some of the best things you can eat uh, berries are. I love raspberries, love cherries too for their uh, anti-inflammatory properties and actually help you sleep better. Um, so well, there's a couple lessons for you kids out there. Let's give it a try. Wow. So, like I said, the raspberry comes through really nicely, and the cherry is also present there. It's actually a perfect balance in sweet and acidity, like an acidic sour. This is awesome. I got to say, this is probably my favorite offering from these guys so far. Wow, this is pretty dope. Uh, I got to tell you, I think Terre Haute Brewing Company right now has figured out fruited sours. They're making some of the best, if not the best ones I've ever tried. That's saying a lot because I've tried, I've tried some pretty good ones uh, from Upland Brewing over there in Bloomington, Indiana. But I think these guys are kicking their ass right now. Um, wow, this is, this is actually just delicious. I could drink a whole four pack of these. Uh, this would be perfect on a hot summer day, even though we're no longer in summer. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. You can see it pours a nice, almost light red, blood red color raspberry. Uh, this would be perfect for a Halloween party. This is amazing. Just like this monster mask. Uh, again, this is another mask designed by Skinner, uh, sculpted by the amazing Aaron Lewis. Aaron's awesome. Aaron's, uh, Aaron and I are friends on Instagram. 
we chat back and forth a lot. He is an amazing sculptor. And uh, definitely give that guy a follow on Instagram if you're on there. He does some really cool stuff. He's been in a lot of really cool uh, things as well. Just an amazing dude to follow. He's a model rocket collector. He loves Shogun Warriors. And he's a super dope monster mask maker, which makes him one of the most interesting people in the world. This is a great mask. This is a great beer. I hope you guys enjoyed this really basic uh, review. Definitely, if you're in the area, stop by Terre Haute Brewing Company or in the area and try to get some of these. These are amazing, guys. I think you're really going to love this, and I'll probably actually end up getting me another pack of these uh, because it's so good and so easy to drink, especially during uh, football season right now. If you guys are fans of football, I know a lot of people aren't. I am a lot less than I used to be. So let me know in the comments what you think of this mask, the Super Beast, if you like the sours, if you tried any of Terre Haute Brewing Company sours. And uh, in the meantime, guys, cheers.